Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. And today I'm going to be filming a part 10, a 10 already, for my giving advice to the K-pop idol wannabe series. If you guys haven't checked out my other episodes, you can check them out right there because I made a playlist for you guys. They all do kind of connect to each other, so you want to make sure to watch them before this one. Super exciting news, guys. I am starting this K-pop audition week where I upload every single day for a week on videos about how to pass your audition. I already told you guys in the community post, but I just wanted to repeat it for those who missed that. Really don't want to miss out on these seven videos because they could really help you pass your audition. I just wanted to pop in and say that the series is right now closed, so I'm not taking any applicants at the moment. But if you guys want evaluations, you can join my Patreon. Along with evaluations, I also have a master list of all the companies you can audition for, and I recommend the companies and what songs to choose as well. Weekly resources and updated news is also in included in that, so I update you guys on the latest news and resources you need in order to pass your audition. I also help you guys for filling in audition forms and answer any questions you have about K-pop auditions. If you are interested in that, make sure to check the link in the description box and the pinned comment so you can learn more about it and you can choose your tier that you want. Um, there are like two tiers for K-pop auditions, but I feel like the advanced tier is a lot more beneficial and has a lot more benefits. So it's totally your choice. And let's get onto the actual video now. And let's go to the first person. Okay, so the first person did a dance and it's like a kind of hip hop vibe, which I think really suits this person. And guys, I've mentioned in my other videos that having a song that suits you and you can connect with is so important. I think she perfectly chose the song. Some things I would work on is sometimes your limbs are going to look awkward. Some moves don't require your arms. So you're just going to go like that, but your limbs just look awkward. Like if your hand is like this when it's not supposed to be or like this when it's not supposed to be like that, it's very awkward. And so you want to kind of feel the song, feel the vibe of the song, and just connect with the song. I know it sounds so weird to say that, but you guys just concentrate on feeling the song instead of just getting all the moves right. It's really gonna help you look more natural. How you can do this is film yourself, of course, and look at the parts where you seem a bit awkward or it just doesn't seem natural or doesn't have a nice flow. You can easily change that by looking at the mirror and fixing some things that just doesn't work out for you. Maybe some moves need hand movements. Maybe some moves need hand movements. Maybe you're just concentrating on your legs too much. Same for maybe you're just concentrating on your arms too much and you're just kind of standing there. Um, I've seen a lot of choreos go like this, especially if you freestyled or made your own choreography. It's going to look definitely awkward at first if you're not a professional dancer. So make sure to work on being more natural. Also, her expressions are okay in some parts, but you need to have more of a loud stage presence. Stage presence is so important in performing, performing dancing, performing singing. They're both really important. So please, please just work on your expressions. You can do that by lip syncing. You can do that by putting more force on some moves and then kind of letting go and going with the flow for some moves. You guys need to think of which moves need to be a bit more natural and which one needs to be a bit more controlled by your body because controlling your body is really important while dancing. You can't have clear moves if you don't put that kind of force. And let's move on to the next person. If you want it to, this is fancy, this is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes. It's a star, I can get them both. I don't wanna choose, and I'm quick. Got a brother off, so don't get comfortable. Look, I don't dance now, I make money. Okay, so this person needs to work on their flow. So their flow is interrupted by their breathing. If you have like breathing on every single other note, it's gonna sound very separated from each note to the next one. So what you wanna do is just write down where you want to breathe and don't force yourself because you don't want to not breathe right breathing is so important and having enough air is really important in singing concentrate on not trying to have like 
that kind of sound while singing. If you listen to K-pop artists, they don't have breathing in between their singing. You're gonna look tired and kind of strained and you never want to have a strained voice because it's not fresh at all. I don't think this song really shows your potential. I think you can change a song so you can feel more because you kind of sound like a robot right now. You need more expression, you need more feeling. So choose a song, one of your favorite songs, it doesn't matter. So you don't want to use an overused song like Kill This Love by Blackpink. The second thing to look out for is if you're auditioning for SM, you don't want to do a Red Velvet song. You don't want to do YG or JYP song either because they will compare you and they will compare you to the artists. Also, you need to have more of a clear pronunciation. Even though it doesn't seem like it, your singing can be affected by your pronunciation. If you are just kind of mumbling, it doesn't sound clear at all. You want to have that kind of clear, fresh voice that when you hear the song, it's going to be like, wow, this person is really good at singing because he has a clear voice. It also goes for rapping too. You want to have a clear pronunciation. So you want to pronounce every single word clearly so that your um, listeners can understand what you're saying. That's the whole point of rapping. I hear a lot of background noise. It should be common sense to have a clear background with no sound at all because they want to pay attention to your singing, not your background noise. At first, I thought, does this really suit this person? But then in the end, you kind of showed me that you did suit the song. So make sure I can hear your voice instead of other things. Also, if, when you're trying to hit the higher notes, you're kind of straining yourself. You seem like you can't reach those high notes. So if you can't do the high notes, don't do it. Don't be something you aren't because you're not trying to prove to them that you are great at everything. You can be an amazing vocalist that can't hit high notes. Maybe you just like low notes better and that's where your range is. That's totally fine. It's your style, it's your voice. Say you can hit those high notes and you've hit them before. For whatever reason, you just sound a bit more strained when you sing it. You want to practice that. I know it's so cliche, but you want to practice every single high note. But make sure not to sing for a really long time without drinking water or something because that can actually literally strain your voice and you can lose your voice too. So be careful, guys. You can search up tips for that if you want to reach those notes. Also, like the last person, your pronunciation isn't super clear, so just follow those tips that I said previous minutes ago. Next person. Chosen with that unique Honestly, you were and you chose me Maybe I've messed up everything is this how it feels? So one thing I would say for this person is that this song does not show your potential at all. It looks like you're really good at singing, but the song is basically just talking, like talking singing, if you guys know what I mean. And that is a terrible song to choose, guys. You want to show a song with melody and a song that can show your potential. So if you're good at hitting high notes, do a song with high notes and just fit your song with your style. Also, another reason why I wouldn't choose this song is because you have really unnecessary pauses. You guys need to show your potential in 30 seconds. It may not seem like a lot of time, so you don't want to have unnecessary breaks because it can really mess up the entire flow of the song and the flow of your voice as well because in singing, having a flow is, like I said, important. You have really clear pronunciation, but your song, it needs to be changed. I really don't recommend it. They aren't going to know if you're a great singer if you don't have a good song that really backs you up. Having talent is important, but choosing a song can be stressful as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. And if you guys haven't watched my other episodes, you can check them out right there. And always DM me on Instagram if you have any questions. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!